Hey guys, if you're watching this video, that probably means that you have Google Home and you've probably seen my smart home door closer video on my main channel. This video is just the automation for Google Home. So if you wanna set this up with your Google Home, this video is for you. But if you wanna see the actual install, all the parts, the assembly of the actual hardware to close the door, you wanna check out the original video right up there. And you wanna go into your device and update the firmware. That's very, very important. Now we can turn it on. You can see it turns one way. And then we turn it on again, it'll turn the other way. Now, since we're gonna be using, we want to turn it clockwise um, to shut the door, at least in my setup, we might want to switch these around. It's totally up to you. If you have a left hand door and you need to shut it left hand, this is correct. So you just have to play with which way you're turning it. All right, so now we can go in here and go to settings. And we're gonna put this into what's called a rolling shutter mode. This is gonna allow it to have one switch or a combination of three switches. So open, close, and um, have open, close, and stop. So we're gonna click that so now you can see now we just have one that's called the master door so if we hit this it's going to turn counterclockwise if we hit it again it's going to turn clockwise now we can reverse that depending on which way you want to do it so you can see close is turning clockwise which is what I need and then open is counterclockwise but you can actually go into the settings and reverse the direction if you need to you can actually go in here have open close time so for it to be open we only need three seconds okay and to close it we need a little bit more time at five seconds. Now this is not gonna automate it, but it will make it stop after you hit the, the close button. So once you hit close, it's gonna close the door for five seconds and go back to stop or what they call pause. Now I'll show you how to automate this in Alexa and Google, but you can also hit open that way it goes back to its starting position now let's go ahead and set this up with google all right hit the plus hit up set up device this will be worked with google and it's called shelly shelly smart home and now we're going to go ahead and log in and once the accounts are synced you'll see your device in google home now one thing that I do suggest that you do is rename the device you don't want to accidentally trigger the device you want to make sure that you trigger the routine so by having a different name for the device you pretty much guarantee you're not going to accidentally trigger just part of the automation you're going to trigger the entire automation so in my case i'm going to call the actual device the master motor and when it comes to Google though, it is a little bit more difficult just because the app is not designed to do a lot of these things. I wish it was, but Google is definitely a little bit behind the others here. So to do this, you would think you would go to routines, have a voice command, and then a call to action. But when you actually go in here and you have adjust home devices and adjust lights, plugs, and more, these other things don't apply and you select the devices, this device does not show up because this is classified as a curtain or a blind and those do not show up as more for some reason. So after some research, I finally figured out how to do this for the most part and that is through a voice command um, action. So it's gonna be here, you're gonna hit plus and the starter is a voice command when we say close the master door and we click add action we're going to go down to the very bottom to where it says try adding your own this is the same voice command that we would tell google to do one of these actions but we want two of these actions so we're going to first say close the master motor remember we call this the motor 
And normally I would it would run the five seconds, but because we're going to put it in the second action, it's going to do that right after, like one second after. And unfortunately with Google, because they are so far behind, they don't have wait commands, they don't have delays. The only way that I could figure out how to do this was to just keep putting adjust volume. I even tried to say in five seconds, close the master motor and that did not work and I also did that the other way where I said close the master motor in five seconds and that also did not work to do this go ahead and say close the master door and then you're going to set the volume five times to zero so each command is just about one second so set the volume zero 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 and then set the volume back to where I had before about 50%. So that's five seconds. And then we're gonna go ahead and run the open master motor. So we're gonna save that. Hey Google, close the master door. One, two, three, four, five. And now it's gonna reverse the full three seconds because that's what we have programmed in the Shelly. Perfect. And that's it guys. If you want to see the full install, the assembly, all the parts, definitely check out the original video. I'll put a link in the top right corner. And once everything's set up, all you need to do is say, hey, close the master door.